Not every day you get to sit down and work on cars. Fight! What's going on guys? Welcome to in another episode of the Coyote Build. Uh, today we're actually going to remove the factory valve springs and replace it with some Boss 32R ones. Uh, to do that, I ordered this, um, what is this called? The Euro Export uh, Valve Spring Removal Tool, uh, which I'll go ahead and link below. If you guys uh, are interested in, in getting one of these, um, I guess we'll see how they do, but I'll go ahead and link the uh, the, the product down below. If you buy through that link, you'd help us out, so I'd much appreciate that. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so hopefully this one you can see a little bit better. The whole purpose is to push the spring down to the point where these little retainer clip things come out. Um, so the bolt goes down. You'll put this down. This ends up seating on the, the retainer. And then, just to kind of speed up the process, So you that put, seats on here. You put some of this grease on top, right? No, I just, I was, I was putting it on the bolt. You know, you probably want to put it down here as well. Yeah. Anyways, so this compresses it down. There we go. These pop off. Pick up, pick up the little retainers, um, which I usually just leave them on the magnet so I don't lose them this back out this comes off pop that back out grab your new spring pop this one out move over the I don't even know what this is called um, put the spring back down put this back on that back down. Um, what I was doing is I was using some of the uh, the grease that they actually provided with this. Um, I would just put a dab on here just so when I put it on there it sticks to the valve. Push this back in there, that back on there. one back on slowly loosen it so you see it seats you see it seats and then there you go amazing it's magic and the cool part about this is you can do all four on each side and then you'll have to unbolt it and scoot it over so we finished the uh, the head with uh, cylinder 8 uh, that looked okay. Um, that I used that one as a kind of a learning experience. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and start working on the other head. Um, I guess we can start a time lapse now. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night getting There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Big, big, right, that's the thing Every night got a team I've been tied to the scene Alright, so we cleaned up a little bit uh, Removed all the other stuff that we were using to uh, change out the valve springs uh, Now we're going to install the cylinder heads on the engine block. Um, I ended up picking up some ARP uh, head bolts, might as well, um, as well as I've got the uh, the gaskets. So the gaskets need to match the cylinder heads and not the block. So these are 11 to 14 gaskets because these are 11 to 14 heads. Uh, so we will go ahead and verify uh, the first step is to verify that the engine is at the 9 o'clock position, the keyway is, which it is, um, which actually 
puts all of the pistons down slightly so that nothing is going to hit. All right, so the first step in installing the ARP head studs, uh, we're going to go ahead and clean off the faces of these cylinders real quick. That's essentially where the uh, these little washers rest and then the, uh, the bolts attach. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick because there's a little bit of oil left still. Just hit it with some brake clean and a cloth. Not entirely sure how clean these are gonna actually get. I'll try and clean it up a little bit. All right, so we'll go ahead and put the head gasket on. All right, tie it up. It's got the uh, QR facing up. Wow, oh, that is a small uh, oil pump hole. Hmm. That one, that one's actually in the uh, the other engines or the uh, other heads is a lot bigger. Should we be doing something about that? Nope. All right, so Anthony's putting in the two bolts up here. The guide holes. <sighs> All right, that guy's in there. That's the way I do it. I just, see, I just make it to where it curls a certain way. And then you can apply this on and then go around. I mean there's a lot of uh, a lot of grease stuff in here, but Now keep in mind guys, um, the 11 and 12 blocks are different than the 13 through uh, 19s. Uh, so there are actually are different uh, ARP studs if you're using an 11 through uh, 11 and 12 block. So being that we're using a 2015 block, uh, we will be using the uh, 13 through 19 ones. All right, so there's a pattern on these. So you're gonna put that side down. The checkered side down. Yeah. If anybody wants to know, this is a 5 8 12 point, which I didn't have in half inch. Did you tell them what like kit number and everything the ARP was? Probably not, but we can do that real quick. It's two five six dash four three zero one. It is a pain in the butt with ARP kits because everyone seems to have a different part number. Is that zoomed in? No, it's blurry. Hold on. All right, so that is the ARP kit that we are using. Which is the 13 and up version. The this is different from the 11 and 12s um, because they're the studs are longer. Yeah, just want to make sure we know. Just an FYI, hit. I'm pretty sure I told you guys that earlier, but just to reiterate, reiterate. So essentially, um, it has the order of where you start tightening. Essentially, you want to start in the middle and work your way out, so it squishes the head gasket out. Um, the first batch is to 35 foot-pounds, and then you go through that pattern. Then we're going to go to 70 foot-pounds, do the same pattern again, and then all the way up to 100 foot-pounds with the same pattern again. And then that side, this head will be snug, and we'll move on to the other one. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm 
staying focused My mind is open They start to notice That I'm in motion There is no potion You're not just chosen It takes devotion To stay composed, man Never stop, never stop There ain't no time to fall Alright guys, so it's getting kind of late. Um, we finished up uh, torquing all of the head bolts on both sides down to their appropriate torque specs. Um, we got our uh, Boss 302R uh, valve springs in, uh, so that's all set. Uh, the next episode we'll go ahead and work on putting in the cams and setting all the timing equipment. Um, but that's it for tonight. Also, uh, make sure uh, there's a link below. We, we actually started our own merchandise uh, line, so check that out. That will greatly help our builds because this is not cheap. Um, so I would really appreciate if you guys follow the channel to support us, uh, get some merch. Um, let us know if you want anything else. We just kind of started with a few shirts, a mug, uh, a couple other things. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, definitely check out below. I linked the um, the tool, the the valve spring tool that we used in this. This is honestly probably one of my favorite tools at the moment because you can do four at a time. Um, so we'll go ahead and link that down below. If you guys are interested, use our Amazon link. Uh, that will help us out again. Um, so we'll see you guys next time. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, click on one of these two videos. I'm not sure which side they're on. Um, check out some more content, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.